what's going on everybody Quaku here back with another video for one we are back doing some windows 11 app reviews i have found some new ones so they are still coming i do have other things coming in through though but this app as you see on the title is taskbar 11. this was developed by chris anderson and team hopefully i said his last name right don't judge me uh, and this application, if you're not familiar with the video I did previously, I believe it was Taskbar X and as one of the top videos on the channel so far, um, Taskbar 11 is his next iteration written in C++ to be directly compatible with the new Taskbar experience that is in Windows 11. And basically it turns your Taskbar essentially into a dock, a resizable dock. Now, one of the features that is not in this is the ability to hold the edge of it to drag the dock out, kind of like Mac OS. You can't do that, uh, but it does divide here. It kind of divides the uh, the tray area with the main taskbar area as well. And you'll see that if I add another application in, uh, that it does work. So in fact, let me see, I'll just open up Spotify. You can see that it stretches out and opens up Spotify just like that. And if I close it, you'll see that it resizes automatically, which is really nice. Now. What you do is you go over here and you go to your tray and you go to taskbar 11. This is the configurator. Um, and when you do that, let me close this out. This is the menu that shows up uh, for the configurator. Um, it doesn't really resize. I'm just gonna leave it like this. But this is the menu that shows up right here. I'll zoom in for you guys. And it has got a bunch of options here, um, just like taskbar X, the original one. Uh, it's more classic in terms of how Win32 apps look like. I'm pretty sure this will, this UI will be updated soon uh, to be the new Win UI stylizations of things. But for starters, you have square corners. So if you check off anything here uh, and then you hit apply, you can notice that down here the taskbar goes square. Um, it kind of reminds you that like there's something supposed to be here and it looks just cut off, but the taskbar looks square. And if you remove it and you hit apply, the taskbar gets rounded again, which is how I like it. Uh, you got your corner radius, so you can modify your corner radius to whatever you want. You can set it to 10 pixels um, and then hit apply, and then your corner radius gets a little smoother. Uh, you can just disable it all together and hit apply, and it makes it back to normal. I don't believe I saw any difference there, but you might notice something. And then they have do not uh, revert the taskbar on a maximized window. Um, so if a window is maximized, it will not revert. So if you do that, um, basically that's that's how it's going to be and you see this windows explorer thing showing up exit out of that um and then you have no tray so if you guys don't know the tray area is essentially this area uh, mainly this area here but no tray so it disables the system tray icon if i hit apply sometimes it works it doesn't work this time at all um so i don't understand that at all so i'm just going to apply to revert it back just in case anything changed um, and then you have hide tray system tray area which is the general area not just the icon so if i hit apply with that one it completely removes the tray area you don't get a clock you don't get anything you just get a very simplified look right there so if i even drag this is open uh you can see if i move it away you see that just this plate broken playstation controller wallpaper that i have and i can put things here which is very interesting now the question is does it still mimic that a tray is here if I check off things? No, you can actually click in this area. So notice this would be where the time typically would be, and I can still click in this area, which is really cool. Um, same thing goes over here. Uh, if I simply uncheck and check, this is where a taskbar typically would be extending to, and it still works in those areas. Applications still function like normal. And then you have another thing that's called a sticky. It says sticks the system tray to the taskbar and removes taskbar icons to keep it stable. So basically, if you have your system tray back, which is a little buggy in terms of getting the tray back. Uh, so I'll just do this and hit apply and see if the tray comes back. Okay, good, it came back. Now, if I want it to be sticky, this means that the system tray area will be attached to the end of the taskbar here, um, but it will remove all the icons to keep it stable, the system stable. Um, so if I hit this button and hit apply, you can see that it wanted to move over and it wanted to essentially fill in this space here. But to me, I don't see a point in this area here uh, doing that just because uh, I, I don't feel like I don't like it, the fact that it's no longer really centered too well for me. So I actually will keep that one off for my purposes. So now you get the system tray back area back. Um, you can choose the expand speed and speed it up and slow it down. I'm not going to bother with it really, but you can choose the shrink, the shrink speed and the expand speeds. So when you open up icons and open up new programs and things like that, 
like 20 programs, how fast the taskbar um, expands more and more and more and, and contracts more and more and more will change based off of the speed you set. And by default, the default is 90 and 700 for shrinking. So you can modify from there. And then this is probably the, my favorite one. It's very simple. It's smooth resize. Now, before I even do that, what I'm going to do once again is I'm going to open up Spotify. So if I open up Spotify, look at this, look at how it resizes. It kind of wants to extend itself just like that. And then I'm going to hit escape just like that. So then when we hit smooth resize and hit apply, see the trade disappears again. Don't know why it does that, um, but I'll leave it alone for now. We'll go back to Spotify. And you see how smooth the animation is, how it adds in, it fills in space and fills in space next to the start button so that you can get back in just like that. So I like that smooth resize. I'll do it one more time for you guys uh, so you can see how it looks, the differences. To me, it doesn't look any different right now, but a second ago, it was looking kind of different in terms of how smooth it resized. And there you go, the system tray area came back. And so, yeah, and also one last thing on GitHub, I wanted to talk about who else uh, gets credit for this. It says uh, Princess Akira, Official Linux, and Dimitri Alishin. I hope I'm saying it right. I'm probably not saying it right, but kudos to all you guys, Chris as well, um, on another job well done. I'm looking forward to some changes in it, and I can just tell you right off the bat, one of the changes I'm looking forward to is hopefully a complete redesign of the configurator itself. I know it's a simple thing just like that, but I'm hoping to see some win UI inside this configurator um, however, I'm even saying it, configurator. I'm hoping to see some Win UI aspects in it um, and not just Win32 feeling aspects in it, classic Windows aspects in it in terms of design. So you can see the obviously the new uh, task manager paint and all those things, how those look. Chris already knows exactly what I'm talking about. I'm hoping to see that in a future version, maybe version 2, maybe version 1.5, who knows. I'm hoping to see this. I know this is version 1.0.3, so there's a lot more changes coming, bugs being ironed out, and then he's always looking for help to uh, iron out more bugs, which is where this video comes to introduce Taskbar 11 to Windows 11. Welcome back, Taskbar. Welcome back. My name is Kwaku, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Take care.